Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be hitting up the expedition. You can see here I've already got an hour and a half inside of the expedition. However, although I recorded all the footage, it corrupted. And, uh, yeah, YouTube failed to upload it, and I deleted the originals, thinking everything was fine. Uh, so I've got to do it all again, basically, so I'm going to be uh, deleting this. And this is my first expedition. And just to add to the pain, I'm doing it all again. So to start the expedition, rather than use your actual saves, you have to hit new game, and you hit this tile over to the side here. That starts your expedition. Okay, chums, initialize expedition. Just hold down square, and it should load you in. It's going to load us in on the freighter, which is cool. Mate in Haribo. Haribo. Well, thank you for the welcome. Brilliant, eh? What character has it given me? Oh, look at the eyebrows! The eyebrows! Heck yes, I'm a geck with super fan dangly eyebrows! Brilliant. Okay. Expedition. la di la di la di la Right, okay, we've got to go set foot on a planet. We'll go do that, people. Let's go do that, then. Um, before I do that, though... What have I got on my freighter? Anything that might be useful? Some feet. Oh, I'm going to have the sodium. We'll take that with us. And I'll also take that. Thank you very much. What is this? Silver. No, you can keep that. Okay, fine. Lovely. We're on our way, people. We'll head on down to the nearest planet. Brilliant, eh? How would you look at this? It's giving me a freaking wonky explorer. I like symmetrical type ships. This is long arm, not symmetrical. Anyway. We're heading to this planet here, I think, people. It's a star bulb planet. Dissonant system. Let, let's go. Let's head on down to that planet, then. Come on, hyperfrost. There we are. Pulsing down to the planet. Ooh. There is actually... Oh, what do you want? Leave me alone. Go away. What do you want? Oops. I didn't mean to shoot him. For fudge sake, I was pressing X. Oh, great. I've, I've, this is not the best start. I wanted to shoot some asteroids. I didn't want to shoot him. I didn't even know he was going to bloody appear. Now he's going to try shooting me to death. And I don't want him to be shooting me to death. Leave me a fudge alone. I exited warp. Oh, God. Damn it. Okay, right. Fine. We're going to be... <laughs> this is not the best start guide, is it? Anyway, we want to shoot 25 of these asteroids. Hopefully he's not going to kill me in between then and now. Okay. Yeah. Let's get these anyway. Oh look, I think he's left me alone now. Maybe. It says escape is possible. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to shoot 25 of these asteroids and I'll be right back when the badge pops. Okay, so this is actually a final phage mission reward. I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. Um, he's still shooting me. This, this guy, he just doesn't want to give up. I only shot him once. You'd think that there'd be a little bit more forgiveness than that because you're trying to get through menus. I mean, I was in a dialogue scene. It shouldn't have allowed me to shoot him, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Apparently, I've already done the mission now, but it didn't pop the badge on the screen because I'm in shot. There you are. Let's collect that then. Lovely. Right, now, where was I heading to? I was heading to that dissonant world before I was rudely interrupted by that freaking git bag. Okay. Um, I've got to find the planet again now, people, because the dissonant one is the one that you want. But now I can't see for Toffee because of all these bloody asteroids. All right. Come on. Let me see the blanking planet. Okay. It's not letting me scan anything because I've got this guy after me. Oh, for fudge's sake. Should I just fly back into my freighter? That might be a thing, mightn't it? Fly back into my freighter and hopefully it'll leave me a fudge alone. Hold on. Hold on. Is that, is that the planet over there? Let's just try and get away from this git. Anyway. This isn't your problem, it's mine. And this shouldn't happen to you. I was just extremely unlucky. I'm going to eat some Haribo and, and calm down. I had to fly all the way back to my freaking freighter, people. And I still don't know whether he's leaving me alone. Anyway, I'm going to stick that there and put that there. That's the reward I just got. I got two of them. Lovely jubbly. So now I can move a bit quicker, which I could have done with a minute ago. Yeah, I might have been able to get away from the freaking git bag. All right, OK. Now we can fly him back out and let's just hope he's not there shooting at me again. Because if he is, I will be severely peed off. Right, okay. Hopefully he's gone. 
been uh, sorted. Is that the planet I wanted to go to? Yes, it is. Couldn't use my scanner or anything. Not the best start, but there we are. <laughs> it's been fun. I'm, I've been eating my Harry, but I've only got two left. Rowley! <laughs> okay, well, it looks like it's going to stick me on the sort of dark side of this planet. I'd rather go on the light side, because we've got to scan a fair few creatures. So I'm just going to fly around this side, where you can see sort of like the sun slowly encroaching onto the planet's surface. Little tip there. I'm going to head to the cusp of, like, the ocean. Mainly because we've also got to scan underwater beasties. Yeah, so might as well get a couple scanned on this planet. We're probably not going to pop the badge on this planet for scanning of underwater beasties. But let's get down here anyway. Well, let's see if there's any high mountains too. There's not any high mountains in this area, but I wouldn't worry. There's massive grass though. Look how long the freaking grass is. It's as long as my eyebrows. Anyway, we'll pop that badge. Let's, uh, let's grab that badge then. Chicka pow pow, chicka bum bum. Right, well, we might as well start scanning plants now that we're here. Lovely. Okay, I'll sort that out later. Oh, they're all freaking fake plants, aren't they? I can't scan any of you. Brilliant. Okay, cool. We've got an upgrade module there. Oh, what are you? Can I scan you? No, of course I can't. I can scan these hazardous ones. And these hazardous ones also give us oxygen, which is always handy dandy, isn't it? Now, you can get quite a lot of oxygen off these guys. You go over to them. And grab it. Ah! There was something else next to it. I'll grab that instead. All right, let's try that again. There's three to grab. I'll just grab two. Mm, lovely. That's quite a lot of oxygen. Run back. I better zap that thing, actually. That's going to that's gonna whip me in the face if I'm not careful. Oh, oh, I don't want to get poisoned. Run away. Go back in. Grab that one. And then kill it. And then you're going to get loads of oxygen. Yeah, that's how you deal with them little critters. Yes, and get loads of resources while doing it. You are going to need oxygen. So, yeah, worth a go, worth a punt. Now, we do have to learn the Gek language. This is a Gek planet. We have to learn three words. So, you might as well hit these up while you're here. Hoi, 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 boy, boy, boy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Make sure you select accept knowledge. Don't just leave. Um, unless you don't learn your word. And it doesn't move on. And look, there's loads more of those gaseous, podious type flowers there. Now, if I shoot these plants, I, I need to scan it first. But if I get some carbon, you need to befriend a creature or two as well to pop a badge. So if I grab that, I should be... Oh, they've already given me bait sticks, which is lovely. Might as well get this installed while we're here. Stick that over there. Um, let's go befriend one of these creatures then. Might as well. And I'm going to get the oxygen. Did I scan these guys? No, I didn't. There you are. Scan him. Lovely. Oi, come back. Oi! Okay. He doesn't want to be my friend. You're going to be my friend, though. Ha ha! Yes. How many eyes do you freaking need? Okay, here we go. Adopter's companion. Oh, look at that one. There's a little guy jumping out the ground. I don't know whether you can have him as a pet, but he would be an awesome pet if you could. Can I have you as a pet, my friend? No, you can't interact with him. But I scanned him anyway. All right, well, let's jump into the oceans and let's see if we can scan any underwater creatures. I might as well scan the flora under here as well. Yeah, there's there's a milestone for scanning, like, plants and stuff. So make sure you scan any plant life. Oh, look, my pets come into the water with me. You're going to drown! Don't be here! Okay, right, there we are. Scan this guy as well. Oh, he seems quite fine, actually, underwater. He's doing all right. I'm surprised. Usually they despawn. I'm going to despawn him because he's going to get in my freaking way. I just freaking know it. Anyway, I'm scanning stuff, basically, people. Scan stuff. Scan everything you can poxy scan. Yeah. Oh, look. We've got that guy. Let's scan him. Lovely. Okay. Well, we've scanned quite a lot under there. Obviously not enough yet to pop any milestones. But I'll head back to the ground and we'll scan more plants and stuff. Chums, I've spotted Subterranean Relic. I'm going to head towards the Subterranean Relic, which is nice that it actually pinpointed that above ground for me. Very kind of it indeed. I'm going to head there because that's going to pop another milestone if it's what I think it is. If it's Vortex Cubes, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, there we go. We've got the Naturalist Milestone. Brilliant. Well, uh, wrong button. That's the right one. We can pop that. Okay, let's get our um, terrain manipulator. And let's dig down. 
Got to be careful we don't accidentally blast the underground subterranean relic, though. You don't want to do that, because they disappear. Oh, they are! Brilliant! They're vortex cubes. Let's grab these. You think we only need three? Oh, my God! There's a whole freaking family of them! Well, they do sell for quite a lot, so I'm going to get a few more than three. Yeah, everyone likes a freebie! Heck, freebie, yes! Now, you can get cave marrow in here and stuff like that and turn it into sodiums. If you really want to. Uh, yeah, there is some cave marrow here. I could turn it into sodium. But you know what? I'm just going to press on. I mean, I got some sodium off my freighter. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Right. And I've got ways and means of not having to do a load of grindiness. If you're up for a little bit of duplication glitching in its very basic of forms, people. I'll be showing you that during my little jaunt across the world. Can I, can I harvest this? No, nope, I need an advanced mining laser. Okay, fine. Uh, what else do I need? I need ferrite dust though, people. So I will be shooting some rocks on my on my journeys around this planet. Okay, well, we've got that anyway. So let's, uh, let's get this. Let's get a load of ferrite dust. I need ferrite dust to make metal plates for my duplication antics to work. And we do need quite a lot of oxygen as well for my duplication antics to work. But once you've set it up, you won't have to do any of this grindiness during this expedition, people. It just depends. I mean, if you want to do the grindiness, then fine, do the grindiness. I don't like the grindiness. Okay, right, um, right, so I'm going to go and hit up another knowledge stone. On my way to knowledge stones, if I see any rocks, they're gone! Because I need the, um, freaking ferrite dust. And if I see any pumpy plants, those dangerous plants, I will be harvesting their oxygens from them. Yes, I will. Okay, I need to find another... Knowledge stone, knowledge stone. There's an auto page camp there. Harmonic scrap, interesting. Okay, there's one over there. I'm going to make my way there and, like I said, get ferrite dust and any pumpy plants. I'll be harvesting oxygen. Okay, well, I think that might be my free words. Yes, oh, the storms on this planet are cool. These are like um, gravity storms and you can fly for freaking ages. There's a pumpy plant over there. Let's go and harvest that quickly. Lovely. Hello! I'm here to harvest your nodules. Nodule one, nodule two, run away! Go back and grab nodule three. Yes! And now you can die to oblivion with you, pumpy plant of evil! Yes, oh, is there a second one there? No, I think I just missed it or something. Who knows? Done! Right, that's quite a fair bit of oxygens. Right, now I need to head on back to my ship. Where is my ship? Where did I, where did I park my ship? Oh, it's all the way over there. All right. Okay. Well, what I would say, people, is there's also a milestone for digging. Um, it's like fear of the sun or something like that. Build a wonder projector. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'll find it. I'll be back with you in a second. Here it is under phase three. Fear of the sun. Okay. Right. You need to use a train manipulator. Just go down. Now I'm going to dig back towards my ship. Which sadly, I think it's under. I'm right by a cove, aren't I? So it's probably going to try and take me underneath the ground. Now, what you can do is just make it really large by pressing R1 and just dig round in a circle. This is a lot freaking easier. Just do that. I don't know why it's it's giving me the emergency broadcast beacon down in the corner rather than the actual milestone I'm on. Freaking, I want to do that. Show me that. Stop showing me that. There we are. See what I mean? Done it in a few seconds by doing that. You could tunnel all the way back to your ship if you really wanted to. I mean, it's going to take you forever and a day, but whatever you, whatever floats your boat. Got it. Okay, now I'm back at my actual ship, and I've got quite a fair bit of ferrite dust. I thought I would have had more than that, because I shot quite a lot of rocks. But let's see if I can make at least two metal platings. Okay, I've made three metal platings. That'd do. Three metal platings. Okay, coolio. And they should have given me just um, one off the back. Now, what do I need for that? Oh, I need more ferrite dust to make that. Because I'm hoping to make some antimatter. Yeah, we're going to go get some carbon. Oh, well, not carbon. Copper. So, let's have a look for some copper deposits while we're here. Paraffinium. Paraffinium. No, 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 no. Magnetised ferrite. You have blinking copper on this planet. Magnetised ferrite. Have I just landed in the most shitest area possible known to man? 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any copper deposits. Oh, there's some creatures there. Let's get those scanned anyway. Oh, I wouldn't mind taming one of those. They fly. Do they only come out at night times? Let's go and tame one. Stay there. I'm coming for thee. Because we need to tame two creatures. I've already got one, haven't I? So there we are. There we are. And a doctor's companion. There we are. That should pop another milestone. Lovely. That's probably going to get on my nerves as well. Let's, uh, let's despawn him. Why did that... I've, I've done... Oh, there we go. It just didn't pop up on the screen. Ah, look, it's walking on its own. Okay, yeah, we'll stick them there. <clears throat> Lovely jubbly. Oh, nip-nip buds. We can plant those out later. Keep hold of them. However, the only thing is, they are classed as contraband. So if, when you jump systems, you might get scanned by system of far tires. A far tires. We don't want that. Okay, right. And I think you only get your base computer plans after you've jumped system. You know what? I might just fly around on this planet and just see if there's any really high hills or uh, mountains. Oh, hold on. There was one sky fauna that I haven't scanned there. I think we've already popped the badge for six creatures spotted. But, you know, why the fudge not? Okay, cool, yeah. Oh, something to mention is we are we have got to try and get a load of nanites. If you go to your discoveries page after you have done quite a lot and hit the upload all, it gives you some nanites each time. It's, it's a small quantity, but, you know, every little helps when you're doing this sort of thing. Right, well, I'm going to go to a more mountainous area of this planet and just see if I can find copper. But not only that, just to see if it's got a higher freaking mountain than some of the ones that we're seeing at the moment. So I'm going to go a little bit more inland, where I'm not seeing the oceans, and re-land, people. Okay, there's mountainous peaks here, but I, I don't think it's going to pop the badge. I could be mistaken. Let's just land here and let's see. Well, I, I think I'm going to have to land a lot higher up than this to pop the mountainous badge. Yeah. Something that I could do, though, while I'm in the water of this planet, thinking about it, it was dig down... Anyway, uh, let's have a quick look around. Let's see if we can find a copper deposit. Paraffinium. Have I just chosen a completely shite area yet again for resources? Get out of the way, Sentinel. Paraffinium. Copper. And it's near the water. Great. That'll do us. Okay. I'll see you at the copper deposit. Okay, well, I got to the copper deposit. There wasn't a lot of copper there. Only a little bit. There was a sliver of copper, you know. Well, there's, I'm still getting some, apparently, but that was the worst copper deposit I've ever found in my life. Okay, right. Well, anyway, let's head on over to the waters while we're here anyway. I mean, it's a bit of a trek from my ship. I should have done this before, but I, I'll meet you back in the ocean. Okay, Jum, so around about now, you should be getting quite close to picking up the, the uh, sort of walking one, the nomad or whatever, the pilgrim. Yeah, it, it should give you some some sort of measure of where you are with it. Apart from it keeps coming up with that poxy bloody signal booster malarkey. I kind of think I'm just going to ditch it. But then, what if I need it later on? It's a pain that it keeps showing that. I wish the Hello Games would fix that. It's like if you've got an egg, it always tells you to hatch it. And it's like, well, maybe I don't want to. You should be able to dismiss those, you know. Oh, for fudge's sake. And Sentinels are getting angry because I'm killing hazardous flora. I'm doing the planet a favour. A favour, I tell thee. Okay. I've had the same problem trying to get some ferrite dust, people. I know, right? That's freaking mental. Well, there's a safe beacon sitting out there. There you go. Just got the um, the pilgrim. Nice. Well, all I'm going to do now is get my terrain manipulator. And I'm going to dig a tunnel. Straight down. You might want to select the right freaking milestone for this one though where you've got to go underneath the water which freaking one's that one in okay here we go la, 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 la. under pressure that's the one so at least you can see how far and how close you'll get into it before your oxygen runs out oh for fudge sakes put another milestone over the top of that one look i selected a blinking mission for a poxy reason give me give me what i want okay there we go under pressure done let's get out of this hole Meow. There you go. That's how you can swim 65 views underwater. I know it's a little bit cheaty, but it works. So it's, it's happening. I guess. Lovely jubbly. We've done that. Okay. Now my ship is freaking miles away. 
Now, I could... Ah! Blast these stones and get myself some more ferrite dust, which is lovely. I could just shoot the planet with my ship, though, and get loads of ferrite dust. I should have done that as we was flying down to the planet, though, people. A little bit of a tip. You can just shoot the planet to get all your basic resources. Right. Okay. So now I want to put down a refiner. I, as you can see here, I can put down three. I'm just trying to find a nice little bit of flat land to do this on. So I'm going to stick that there. I'm going to go over to this. And my life support gel. I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Now I want more life support gel. So what I'm going to do is put this refiner bang on top of this refiner here. Okay. And then it should keep in place. And you should be able to just do that. Ah, I moved. If you don't move like an idiot, like I just did, you should just be able to do it over and over. There you go. I've got mine in place. Now I should just be able to pick them up. And now I've got three life support gels. Yeah. So if I put that down again, I'll do it one more time. Go over to it. Put the item in here that you want to duplicate. Okay. And then just get another one of these. Stick it bang on top. Okay. So it has pretty much a, the holographic mirror effect like that. Yeah. And then you should be able to just do the next one straight on top. There we are. I've got only got three. So there we are. Pick them up. And now I've got like nine, nine of the life support gels. And the reason I wanted to do that is so I can top up my life support without having to use all the oxygen that I've been collecting. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. So there you go. That's how you can sort of save your grind. Right, now if I bring my ship down close to me here, might as well just bring that there. I can jump in my ship out of my ship, create a save if I want, just in case this ever goes wrong, which it, it hasn't gone wrong, this duplication-y type stuff. But we're going to be having to put in our hyperdrive in a second. Okay, so let's have a quick look-see. Have I got any S-class modules? I haven't. These are all A-classes at the moment. When you get an A-class one, it's probably worth duplicating them so you can get your nanites reward quite quickly from selling them. Um, I could do these right now, then go to the station and sell them, but at the moment I really need my inventory space, so I'm not really thinking too much of it right now. Anyways... What I do need, though, I'll put this here and go over to it. What I'm going to do is get all that lovely copper and I'm going to turn that into chromatic metal. And then I'm going to duplicate the chromatic metal. Why, why does it auto-fill and put it to 100% these days? I don't know why. That's a pain in the neck that it does that. You used to be able to press square and it halves it. And sometimes it just sticks it in like you want to fully fuel it. Don't know why. Okay, well, I'm just going to pick this up. Stick this over at this side there, like that. Just good power. Now I'm just going to get another refiner. And you get the drill. Stick it over the top. Another refiner. Stick it over the top. And pick them up. See there, I've got quite a lot of um, chromatic metal now. But I'm just going to do that one more time. Because you're going to need quite a lot of chromatic metal. And I don't want to be there all day. Digging up copper, then refining it into freaking chromatic metal. You know, this 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 um, expedition is all already grindy and tedious enough, to be honest, people. So there you are. Let's do that again. I mean, there is skill involved in this. You've got to get it bang on perfect anyway. So anybody who says, "Oh, it's, it's it's a lazy method," yeah and no, yeah and no. It still feels like you've earned it <laughs> in a roundabout way. There you go. Right. Let's go into here then, and uh, let's go down. There's skill involved in doing it. I'm going to make antimatter housing, lovely. And I'm going to make antimatter. And then I'm going to make warp fuel. There we go, warp cell. And you've got it. I'm going to duplicate that. You know what? And I'm going to get that installed into here. There we are, put that in there. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm just going to jump in my ship. And my ship just to create a nice little auto save. Lovely jubbly. Done, dilly, and done. And yeah, I'm going to do the duplication. I'll be back with you later. Okay, people, I did actually duplicate a few things. So I've got loads of those now, which is lovely. Also done my life support. Also done a couple of ion batteries. And inside my starship, I've done some launch fuel. Uh, I don't see where my launch fuel is now. But yeah, I've done some starship launch fuel, wherever that's blinking gone. 
Where the fudge did I put that? Oh, there it is. I just couldn't see it. It was uh, right there in front of me all this time, people. So anyway, uh, I mean, I could duplicate this and we could just sell it for a load of nanites up in the actual station before we leave here. I might actually do that as well. Might as well. Let's just do that. Okay, now it's asking me to install my warp drive. So I'm just going to make a little room here. Let's just stick it there, I think. And what I'm going to need, chromatic metal and microprocessors. So we need microprocessors times five. So I could go and buy one from the actual trading post uh, because I don't think they're that easy to make, uh, microprocessors. You need chromatic metal and carbon nanotubes. Oh, well, actually, okay, well, that's fine. I can make a carbon nanotube, uh, which means I can make one microprocessor, and you've got it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down, put my microprocessor in there. Chicka-boom! Microprocessor, where are you? Stick my microprocessor in there, and then put these on top. So there we are, one. I mean, you could do five of these and do it in one go. Um, sadly, I'm going to have to do it in two hits. Now, what you can do is rather than pick up the last one, if you're duplicating the same thing, is just put your things back over the top again. Like so. I moved slightly then. There's a ship flying over or something near me. It's making the ground wobble. Right, there we go. Ah, it didn't work that time. Probably because I'm near something that's making the ground wobble. Let's try that again. Put my microprocessors in. Hiya! One. Two. Back on my shoe. There we go. I've got nine microprocessors now. Slightly overkill. There we are. Done. And I should be able to charge that up. Lovely jubbly. And then we're going to press on people, I think. Yeah, why not? I'm fairly sure at this point when I was doing my first playthrough, when I lost all my footage, that I actually had some hyper drive modules, though, which I don't seem to have got at the moment. Let's just pop that badge. Let's see if we get anything from there. No. Okay. Is there any other badges I haven't popped yet? Aha! There's a few I haven't. Ah, that's going to give me a, my whole portal glyph set and some salvage data. Nice. We need that salvage data to get some planters to put our plants in. Okay. And we've got one in phase one as well. Let's claim that one then. Nice. And the water protection movement module. I'm just having a look see if there's anything I haven't scanned on this planet yet. Maybe it's the flora botany one. I can't remember. What else is there? Interstellar walk to another system. Establish a base. Reach the first rendezvous. Phase two. Yeah, I think I did this one on this planet. But for whatever reason, it's not popping. Okay, bottled storm. Okay, all right, cool. Anyways, I think we're doing okay-ish. So far, so good, people. So far, so good. I mean, that's quite a high mountain over there, but I think that's where I was parked earlier, and it didn't pop the badge. I'm going to go to the station anyway, people, before we actually move off from this system. And there's also a fungal mould planet, and also an exotic planet that you need to visit in this system. Oh, I was just flying over this, and I come across a colossal archive. There is actually a colossal archive at a rendezvous point. I'll show you something special about colossal archives when we get to the rendezvous point, rather than do it there, because the chance of you just flying across and finding one of those is like nil okay so yeah i won't do the little cheat that i know there okay now the station is right near to the exotic planet so i'm going to do the station exotic planet then the fungal planet people while flying to the station i'm just going to install that there actually i should have duplicated that so i had better movement modules oh well it's already done now i'll stick the life support one in too i mean you could duplicate these and be like super mega supreme already you know there we are Let's get the adjacency bonuses for this sort of stuff. I should put that there and put that there then. Cool. There we are. No, well, I think I'd rather boost the um, life support, but yeah, whatever. All right, people, what I'm going to do is because I've got these two water protections and they're worth 960 nanites just for two, 
that whole stack of those are really worth 2,700. I'm going to duplicate these, and to do that, I'm just going to fly inside my freighter. Inside my freighter, you can put down the actual uh, per that, that refiner and do it in here, and it's a lot flatter in here. So much easier to do duplication inside of your freighter, just as a bit of a heads up. Okay, so I'll just put in this. Lovely jubbly, go interact with it. Enter here, and I'm just going to get the S-Class water protection modules into there. Boom. Pick this up. Go into the old camera mode, so I can't move around, so it actually locks you in place. Stick that on top of there. Oh, fudge it. It, it exits. Why does it do that? All right, okay, fine. I'll just do it that way then. All right, pick those up. And now we've got six of them. I'm going to do that a few times, people. Flying into the station for the first time, you get yourself some lovely music. I guess you do. Right, well, I, I, I went to town. I duplicated a whole freaking stack of those um, lovely, lovely things. Oh, they, they put them all inside of my freighter. Luckily, I can still pick them up. And I want to take those with me as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, cool. Jumping out. Let's go and sell those for a lovely stack of nanites, people. And while we're here, we might as well increase our storage capacitor. Over here. Buy one slot. Yes, please. Lovely. And then just head to any of the merchants here. And when you get the opportunity to purchase, you then hit sell. And I'm just going to sell all of those and all of those. Lovely. I still don't think we've got enough to actually pop the badge. That's mental. All right. Okay, fine. Uh, right. I think I might... Oh, there we go. We have. We only needed 7,000. There we are. Done, dilly, and done. Let's go and uh, claim that then. Boom. It's given us 500 Quicksilver. Not that we really need Quicksilver. Right, I, I think I've got some multi-tool modules that I can add, haven't I? Oh, no, I haven't. But I could upgrade the class of it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, what did it give me then? I'm sure it gave me something in the way of upgrading. In, in, oh, no, that was probably on the save that I lost. Dang it, getting confused. Anyway, I can go sell these, go sell those, and I can sell this inside of the actual Galactic Trade Terminal just to free up some space. Not that we really need to. Now, I would say sell everything that's smuggled. The only thing is, I was thinking about planting these, uh, and hopefully to get that harvesting one later. Don't really really need that. It might come in handy for replenishing oxygen if we've got to swim a bit, but... To be honest, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think I might just get rid of that, because you can just pick up kelp sacks. We should be good. If I drown in this, remember I sold that and laugh your asses off. Right, anyways, let's head on out then. Now, inside of these stations, sometimes you see these little flat discs. You might see some um, red or orangey type cubes. Uh, orange or blue. Pick those up, and sometimes you might get navigational data. You can see here I got nanites for that one. Now, I'm gonna, I've already got the Gek lingo. You know, you needed three words of Gek. You've got to learn five Korvax words, and you've got to learn three Viking words. And there's two two Vikings in here, so I mean, and I only need to speak to one more Viking. So I'm just going to go around, talk to any of the aliens in here that I need. So I need to speak to you, Mr. Viking, and then I only need to speak to one more Viking a bit later. Lovely. Or if I'm on a Viking planet, just hit up a knowledge stone. You know. Okay, and it's the same with the callbacks, but you've got to speak to five callbacks. This is just my first callback here. There's only one inside of the station. Sweet. Okay, now I'm going to go to the big planet that's right behind this. It's an exotic planet, and we're going to be scanning an exotic creature. Okay, people, I'll see you down on the actual planet where we'll be doing exactly a that. Not very particularly high mountains on this planet either, people. But don't worry, Rendezvous 1 has got extremely high mountains and you're going to get your badge there. So I wouldn't worry too much about trying to get the badge for that one, people. I mean, that some of these structures are quite high up, but they don't quite do it. Right, okay. Right, so we're looking for the creature. Come on, little creature. Where are you today, little creature? Little, little, little creature. Again, it takes a little while for these guys to actually come into iteration but they do I just give it a second you should find one in close proximity to your ship lovely lovely there he is he's like a little blood balloon see him there he is isn't he lovely isn't he wonderful quite creepy to be honest there we go 
priceless. And has discovered a creature worth 50,000 units as well, which is quite nice. Uh, okay, there we are. That was just a pure freaking chance and luck. I think it's because I boosted my um, scanner module inside of my multi-tool. I'm not sure what I'm on about, so here we go. I put these, I put these in, didn't I? There we are. Boom. Put that one next to it, right there. See that? Fauna Analysis Award. Lovely. Now what you can do is inside of your Discoveries catalog, because you've now discovered every creature on the planet, because there's only one there, you can hold that and put that up, and it's going to give you a few more nanites. Okay? If you're doing it the legit way, and you're trying to earn nanites the legit way, that's the legit way to probably get that badge to pop. All right. Okay, the early, early, early. All right, fine. Let's, um, let's head on off from this planet then. Nice, and we're going to the Fungal World planet now. So the planet we were just on is N9H40. It's in the bottom left corner. So if you're wondering what planets I'm on when I do things, it's always in the bottom left corner. Take to the skies. Sounds like I'm getting a phone call. Okay, people, I've just found a planet with a really high quantity. Sorry, I've still got that phone call going on. I said I need to go. Bye. Right, there we are. Idiots. Trying to sell me phones that I don't need. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, right, so here we are. Uh, yes, I got that one. I got this one here, people. There we are. Collect reward. There we are. Lovely jubbly. The unwelcomed. Yes, you get that as soon as you come to this world. As soon as you come to this world, you get that badge. Freaking lovely. Sorry about the phone calls. Yeah. Mentals. I said, look, I don't need anything. He's like, okay, goodbye. I said, bye. I thought he would hang up. He didn't. He started talking. He's now live on my freaking video. All right, fine. Yes, okay, cool, yeah. Right, oh, let's uh, touch on down here. There is a creature on this planet that we've got to scan, and it's going to get us the high pH blood. It's a walkery type one, if I remember rightly. Yes, there's large freaking worms here. Sadly, you can't scan those, or else that would freaking count, I bet. Yeah. Oh, I scanned a plant. That's not quite what we wanted. Did I only pop the badge for scanning enough plants? I don't know whether I did, you know. Oh, I'll scan a few plants anyway. It can't hurt, can it? I'll scan a rock as well. Lovely. All right, anyway, I think that, that, that red dot is kind of um, throwing us off the target here a little bit. Let's have a look around, see if we can find any others. Hello, you. How are you? You lovely creature, you. That's the one we want. Chickaboom! Tentacle butted walker. There we are. We got him. We got him, people. We got him. Lovely. Now, this planet also has extreme storms. So you can get your storm crystals here as well. So what I would suggest is trying to find some storm crystals. Do you need hazmat gauntlets to pick them up? There you go. I just got gifted those. Well, that, that solves that issue, doesn't it? If it is an issue, it probably wouldn't be an issue. We'll stick that in there as well. Lovely. Okay, coolio. And um, let's go look see if we can spot some storm crystals. Storm crystals are easy to spot when the storm hits because they're actually denoted by these yellow sort of lightning stripes. But right now this planet's quite busy. I'm going to have all this though. This is definitely going in my pocket. Lovely. Yes, we'll have all of you. Yes, yeah, get in those pockets, you. Oh, lovely, lovely. Brilliant. Eh? Anyway, I'm going to pick all these up and I'm going to wait for a storm to roll in. As soon as an extreme storm rolls in, we'll go get our storm crystals, people. We only need three of them. Nice. That was a nice find, wasn't it? Okay, people. Oh, it's just getting to night time. I thought storm clouds were freaking rolling in. Trolled me. It trolled me, people. It trolled me. People, this planet, I mean, I'm quite high up already. But if I could get all the way up there, I wonder if that would pop the highest mountain milestone. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can land my ship on the peak of that. And let's see if it gets me anywhere close to... Pop in the mouse. Oh, it's not as high as it bloody looked from where I was standing, is it? All right, well, let's uh, try and land in there anyway. Oh, it's not having none of that. Oh, I'm stuck now. Get. I bet the storm was about to roll in then as well. Damn you, hill of evil. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll land just on this then. Actually, yeah, this looks higher. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're anywhere close to 600 views up. I mean, there is quite an easy way of telling whether you're there or not. You just select the badge. So, uh, where is it? The, oh, we can collect. Who's a funder? When did I get Who's a funder? 
Did that did that creature also count towards that? What the actual flying fudge? It should have been pH blood. Um, okay, bit odd. Anyway, um, interesting. I didn't mean to do that. I don't even know whether that was the right creature. It, that should have been pH blood, the creature that I just got. It was that one, corrosive blood. Did it also do that then? That That's odd. It shouldn't have worked on that. Oh, well, it did though. I'm glad it kind of did. Maybe I just got a very big species of it. 5.2 metres high. So if I go into my discoveries, was that creature 5.2 metres high then? 5.4 metres high! It popped two badges with one creature. I am just got lucky. I am just got lucky. Brilliant. Well, that, 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 that worked quite nicely. I'm not going not gonna to complain about that. Okay, right. So expedition. Where's the highest mountain one? Is that, was that in phase one, the highest mountain? No. Okay, phase two then. Highest mountain, where are you? Ah, there we go. There it is. 600 U's. How close am I right now? Oh, just give me the... It's giving me the dream aerial freaking notice, isn't it? I, I want it to show me my counter. Stop it! Show me how high I am. Am I close? Can I do it with my jetpack is what I'm thinking. Holy really fudge. All right, anyway, we've got everything we need here. And um, at the moment, it's trying to tune itself in for cosmic, cosmic fauna. That I don't bloody need. All right. Let's go then. Let's go do this then. Let's go. Let's get rid of that message, or else I'm not going to be able to see when I'm close to popping the thing, am I? Blinking game. Sometimes people. You want your messages for the expedition. You're not really bothered about all this or the shenanigans, are you? At least I'm, I'm not overly fussed. This is quite cool, though. I'm speaking to one of these things. Oh, it's a nice one as well. Look at that. Oh, I like that one, actually. I'm actually glad I got it. It's got, like, bunny rabbit ears. Yeah, let's talk about... Yeah, you got to go through a lot of options here, people. There's some interesting ones, though. There's one where it talks about oh, dreaming together, but then it gives you three options of what to, what to choose. And I honestly think this is an in-game survey for Hello Games, you know? A bustling metropolis, an alien metropolis, like cities on planets, idiom-veined mountains, so maybe better resource gathering, and megafauna ecosystems. That wins every time for me. Megafauna. Give me giant space monsters. Because at the moment, I don't fear the creatures on planets all too often. Yeah, no, I just choose whatever on these ones. And it forms the stats of the creature. Anyway, I'll carry on doing this. And eventually you get to add it to your fleet, which is pretty darn snaz. There you go. Add it to my fleet. Go, my friend, go. I love that. I like the colours on his wings as well. Very nice. So we've done everything we need inside of here. Okay, so now I'm just going to jump to rendezvous. It would help, though, if I actually had the mission selected, wouldn't it? But anyway, we're going to go... It should still be on the mission path. It's out of jump range, so we're just doing one jump at a time here, people. Now, what I would say is it gives you the rest of the creatures at your rendezvous points. So you don't need to land on every single freaking planet known to man at this stage, people. We're just going to go to the rendezvous points from here on in. And after warping, of course, you pop this barge. Went to light speed. Lovely. And can claim that now. Sweet. And that's giving me the base computer plans. Nice. And Claudio. And homecoming, we've got to establish a base, but I'm just going to go to rendezvous one. So let's do that, people. Let's uh, just jump again, shall we? Sweet. On the next jump, I encountered a giant freaking dreadnought to fight, which I'm not doing in this little explorer with puny weapons. Heck no, I'm not feeling suicidal today. Heck no. Oh, okay, look, look at this. We've got that. We've also got warp hyperdrive cells. Okay, so what's this one as well? We've got a little teleporter. Lovely. I really need to duplicate this before installing them, really. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to install them. Uh, and that that's as far as... We don't need to get overly greedy, I suppose. Right, so I'm just going to jump out of the ship just to make a little save that I've done that. Uh, oh, it's a pirate system. 
That's pretty cool. I don't think I need anything in a pirate system. Anyway, I'm going to try and get out of here and just warp again really quickly. Let's see if we can do it. I need to just get a little distant. Oh, no. It's, it's still registering that I'm in a freaking battle. I don't want to be in a battle. Let's just get away. There we are. And now I can jump to the rendezvous point. So there you go. If you want to avoid the battles, just fly in a station. Fly out, fly around the back, and then jump. Okay, now before I go to the actual rendezvous point, what I'm going to do is see if I can call in the old Nexus. I'm sure I just saw it on the drop-down menu. I did. And I'm going to use some of the salvage data and buy those planter bays. Because if we are going to establish a base, I want to plant out the plants as quick as I possibly can to get that milestone for growing plants and harvesting them. Okay, now every warp jump you can actually call in the Nexus and then just install a free slot. Well, I say free, you have to pay for it. But you can do that inside the station and inside of the actual Nexus just to get that extra storage slot. Right, now what I'm after is perhaps the Biodome, which means I've got to buy this and I've got to buy everything under its sub-menu to get to it. Rather than buy the planter tray, I'd rather have the uh, biodome. The only thing is, I've only got four freaking um, salvage datas left now. So if I go aboard my freighter, I should be able to duplicate these out. Okay, so let's go do that. Maybe I should have done that first. Could have done that with the warp drive engine as well. But yeah, I'm going to go back out. I'm going to do a little bit of duplication and uh, come back in and grab what I need. Lovely jubbly. I also need to get all the power items, so I need quite a lot of salvage data, more than what they've given. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Then. Let's fly on out. Let's go call in my freighter, do some duplication, and then fly back in and do that step again. Ah, oh, chum, something, something being on my freighter. You can actually build one of these rooms, which you can grow in, which is pretty cool. I wonder if I've already got one of these rooms. Um, I've got a lot of carbon in here. That's cool. I could stick it there at the back there. And I could stick it right at the front here. Yeah, stick it there. And you can put your plants in here, I guess. Oh. All right, maybe you can't put plants in there. I was, I was hoping maybe I could put my plants in here. Um, that's a bit weird. Very strange. Oh, well. I'll just installed that there for no freaking reason then. Nice. All right, cool. Well, you, you've got all this carbon in here that you can collect. But normally you interact with these. Ah, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I being an Egypt? I think I am. Maybe I, it's because I haven't got no plants to actually put in there yet. Yeah, maybe I need the recipe for um, putting in the nip-nip. I thought I could just put my nip-nip buds in, but I can't. Oh, well, we'll get some free carbon off of this room anyway. Oh, well, anyways, back to doing the uh, salvage sort of datas then. Right, so where's my little doohickey? Put that there. I mean, you've seen me do this enough times now. You don't really need to see it again. But just in case you do... Uh, where are we? Where are we? Not nip-nip buds. Salvage datas. There we are. Put that in there. Oh, they also convert into nanites, don't they? Yeah, of course they do. And careful you don't accidentally spawn them into nanites. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. You'd have to go dig up half the planet again. There we go. Can I put in another one? No, I haven't got enough resources. All right, fine. And I'm just going to do that a lot. So, chums, if you haven't got enough resources to actually make another portable refiner, what you can do is get your portable refiner, <laughs> put it in your portable refiner, and then put your other portable refiner on top of your portable refiner. And then you're going to get yourself at least another tub double of them. And uh, yeah, I've already done it once, so there we go. I'm going to do it again. And then I'm going to get myself a load of refiners now. There you go, I've got six of them. Ha! Okay, right. There we are. Then go into here. I didn't think of doing that before now. That's freaking sneaky. Right, so I'm going to just get this, stick that in there. You're going you to do 30 at a time. But now I've got six of these. That's going to be an abundance. Yeah, I don't need all of these. But you know what? Might as well have them. That's it. Boom. That should do me. We've got loads. Frickin' heck yes. 
Right, now let's go back to the Nexus and buy all the base parts I want. Okay, I'm back! Yes, I'm back. Right, so I want that. Brilliante, eh? I guess. And it does take glass to build it, but don't you worry about that, people. We'll sort that out. Probably going to need a door so we can get in the poxy thing as well. Okay, we're probably going to get gifted all of this in a later mission, but, you know, so it goes. Right, I'm also going to grab a teleporter. Not that we ever really need one. Um, what else do I want? Um... I need the wires and all that sort of shenanigans. Everything for power. I've probably gone past it, haven't I? Okay, yeah, I need that. Yeah, I need the electrical wiring. And I'm going to need the fuel reactor. Solar panel. A battery. That'll do me. Uh, I could also get that just in case I come across an electromagnetic hotspot. Now we want the plants. So I might just get all of them. Might as well get the tray as well. And the one that I really want is the nip nip because we've already got six nip nip plants that we can already plant. So I might as well have that. And I'm just going to buy the rest of these because I've got I've got like 183 freaking salvage datas now, people. So I might as well use them all. Uh, so it's going to be burning a hole in my pocket. But these are the things that I would suggest you get just to do that one badge. I'm just going to go through and grab myself a load of other stuff that I don't really need. Okay, people, I've got everything I needed, including a cup of tea. Freaking lovely stuff. Anyway, we're going to be heading over to Rendezvous 1. I'll see you there, people. This has taken ages to pop up all this stuff. Okay, now if I remember rightly, Rendezvous 1 was nestled amongst a load of mountains and it took me like half an hour on foot to get to the blinking thing. But this is where I think we're more than likely to pop our highest mountain badge. So let's have a look for a nice high mountain around by Rendezvous 1. I think this will probably do the trick actually. We'll land on top of this big mountain right here and we'll see if that pops the badge for the highest mountain. Here we go. I mean, they all look roughly the same size. But if it's not, it's going to get us close enough. There we are. Hills of Alive. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This place is freaking insane. Okay, well, we can pop that badge on. Lovely jubbly. The hills are alive with the sounds of Stevie. Heck yes, they are. Love job. Right. Where is it? 1,500 views this way. Now, like I said, it took me like half an hour on foot to blinking get to it. I don't want to have to go through that pain again. So I'm going to circle around and see if I can just spot it in my freaking ship. It's a monolith that I'm looking for, people. A monolith. So if we can spot it, that'd be freaking ideal. Let's fly around here then. Is that a monolith? It's not. No, it's a pillar. Okay. Well, I know it's somewhere around here. This is where comms balls could come in handy. It's covered in comms balls. We should be able to see comms balls. There's some comms balls over there. Let's see if that's it. Please be it. I think that's it. Yeah, you do not want to walk here on foot. It took me a good half an hour and I was sliding down mountains, taking damage every five seconds. It's horrendous trying to get here. But at least... Yeah, you know, land at the top of the mountain first and then just sort of get your bearings, look for a comms ball. Just what I just did there. There we go. Jump on out. And we should pop this badge. Lovely jubbly. Julio, Happy New Year, Romania and South Africa. Well, I might as well just interact with this just for fun. There we are. Shoot the creature, put it out of its misery because it was injured. Nice, I've got to get Corellic. Now, really, we need to actually build a base. I am not going to build a base anywhere near this monolith. And I might actually wait until we get to the portal. Because one of these rendezvous is actually a portal anyway. So you don't have to do these in order, you know. There you go. Stick all those in there. Multi-tool expansion slot. Uh, so that's what I was looking to install. I'd done all this the other day, but there was a crackle on my mic. The video footage was corrupted. I've chest tested it back. I've tested my mic. My mic is fine. I don't know what happened. It must have been in the rendering of the video. I set my computer to render it overnight and then auto shut down. Maybe there was an error encountered on the auto shut down. Maybe it hadn't finished rendering. I don't know. Today I'm going to watch it like a freaking hawk. Okay, right. Here we go then. 
Because there's no way I'm doing this a freaking third time. I'll tell you that for free. Okay, anyways, what's next up? So if I'm going to... I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to hold off. And phase two, I'm going to go to rendezvous two. And I think this is the one at the... I think this is the archive. And I think it's the third rendezvous. That's the, the, the really cool one. Anyway, let's take to the skies and in here. I'm trying to remember if there was a planet in this system that popped another badge. Let me just refresh my memory. Okay, this ringed planet over here, I think popped the paradise world one. I think it did. Or was it? Or did I just fly to a really weird planet that wasn't paradise at all? I can't really remember. I'm just going to go and land on it and see if it does pop the, um, the really nice, like, lovely planet one. I can't find the badge for it now. Oh, no. When I was on that corrosive world, I was waiting for the storm crystals, wasn't I? I didn't wait around long enough. Dang it. Okay, we'll have to find another storm crystal planet. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, I should have picked that up while I was there. I've been scanned. They're after my nip-nip. Um, refuse to comply. Yeah, I'm going to leg it. I'm going to leg it, even though my, my ship is crap. Quick, go, 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 go. Lad, no. Damn it. They're on me. Go, go, go. Can I outrun these guys? Let's just fly around in circles. Hopefully I'm going to get away from them. You know what I might do? If I do manage to get to this planet, I might just build a base on it anyway. I know I said I'd do one at a portal, but I can always build a second one. It's not a problem, is it? There we go. I think I've outrun them. We're off, I guess. Let's just get there. Okay, so if this is a planet that's going to pop the badge for the most perfect, it would do it as soon as we enter and break orbit. Um... I don't think it's it. But anyway, I need to scan another couple of plants to pop another badge. So I might as well sit down here, scan a couple of plants, build a base. I mean, there's there's no other bases on this planet from what I could see as I was flying here. So this could be a little Stevie planet. Nice. I claim this as mine. Brilliant. Eh? Let's jump on out then. And let's see how we get on. Yeah, it's not, it's not the most... Mm lovely okay it looks quite lovely to me i would have said this was far nicer than the one that i did find in my last playthrough i think it was just a random weird planet that i flew onto yeah we're going to claim this base and i'm going to put down a nice little base here i'm just going to build a little base and then i'll be right back with you okay a little tip for base building if you haven't got the parts press triangle to go into wire mode and then you press Ah, you press the place button, which is R2, and triangle at the same time. And there it is, it's in. And the same with any part, you know, just... Okay. And if it's in the wrong place, just delete it and put it where you want it. Want it on top of there. Sweet. Cool. I'm going to build my base, I'll be right back in a bit. Well, this badge popped up halfway through building my base. Lovely. All right, well, let's, um, let's go claim that badge anyway. So phase one. And I think that's phase one complete now. And we're going to get electric backpack trail, people, for doing said phase one. Chicka boom. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Well, I might as well continue building my base. So I'm put down a, a harvester. You know what? Let's uh, go into the old parts. And uh, I think I've got... I did have shrubberies. Yes, I need to put these in. There we are. So I've got all that in. I've just got to wire all this together now. Uh, not that I really, really need to, but we ought to. Uh, that. This should all spring into life in a bit once um, the sun comes up. I mean, I could put something inside this harvester. Oh, I haven't put in a battery yet. That's why it's not all, all looking fantastical as yet. So let's stick a battery in the centre. There we go. That do. And I'll stick a wire from this 
onto there as well. I might as well stick one onto there. Onto there. That'll do. That should all be hooked up once it's all good. Lovely. Let's just put in some fuel anyway. Let's just light it up slightly. There we go. Nice. All of that going on out there. You know what I might do. I might put a teleporter in between these two. I'll just stick it there. Oh, come on. There we are. I don't really want it on that angle, though. Delete all those wires that are stuck in the ground. See, I'm not very good at glitching. I miss it all the time. There we go. And then I can hook these two up together like so. Lovely jubbly. And now I can get all my plants in upstairs in here. When I say all my plants, I should be able to at least put in those nip-nip buds that's causing me problems with the system of foro ties. Where are you, nip-nip? There you are. I think I've got six of these. Hold on. You're saying that I can only build two? That sucks. Okay. Ah, because I don't have a lot of feceum. Alright, fine. Uh, I can put pay to that, so if I just grab those and just go... Boom. Come on, up here. There we are. I'll put a load of nip nip out here. And if I delete all that... That should give me the PC I need now to put them inside of here. They're not going to grow yet because of the power problems that I've got. Right, okay. That gets all of them in. What about these? Can I put in these? Yeah, I've got quite a lot for those. Well, I can put in two of them. What else can I put in? I haven't got any of that. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to make a load of this. I'm just going to put a load of these ones in. I mean, these ones only take 80 minutes, so... Come on! Come on, yeah, there we are. Okay, now I'll delete them all. Sweet. And go back in and go plant them all. And hopefully this base will be here for you guys to come and grab plants at some stage. Just to stick these in then. As the remainder of plants to harvest. I think these count as being harvestable plants. I hope they do. There we are. Anyway, there's more than enough there to pop your badge. Sweet. And what I could do is see if there's a power display. But I haven't been put in a survey scanner. Anyway, I need to scan some plants here. I think I need to scan two. And I should pop the other badge. Has that done it? There we are. Botanist done. Freaking Hercules. Okay. Let's, uh, let's clean that badge then. Come on. Expedition, phase five, botanist done. This should really be a nice paradise planet. It's freaking beautiful here. Yeah. So, a bit of an oddity that it doesn't. Okay, and I'm not going to know whether it's got enough power to get it through the night. I mean, this isn't enough power at the moment to do all of that. Which is a bit of a shame. Okay, well, I could fix that by putting in maybe another one of those there. Maybe one here. Linking them together, like so. Did I actually get that? Yes, I did. Stick that on there. And if I stick stuff in either of these... Well, that's a bit glitched out, isn't it? There we go. Hopefully that's going to have my plants on the bake anyway now. Lovely. I mean, you can always grab more carbon from these planters, and these planters replenish themselves quite quickly. So it doesn't matter that it hasn't got a perpetual power source. But there we are. That's my base done. That's phase one all done. So I'm quite tempted now to sort of stop here at phase one and upload my phase one beginner's tips and tricks. But to be honest, I don't think we've got a great deal left to get, to be honest. I think we're doing okay. 
So yeah, actually, I, I will. I, I'll make a look. I'll make this as phase one because I think it's going to be quite a long video. Yeah, uh, I'll go drink my tea, get this all rendered, make sure it's freaking okay, and get it uploaded as soon as possible, people. So sorry about that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next part where hopefully, I think we might even do this in two parts. I can't see those other badges taking too long from my experience from what I did earlier. Anyway, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.